Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make a personalized whiteboard calendar on the Great Maker Show and Tell. A new year is coming and that means it's time to get our schedules in order. This can be tricky when you have a family, but one of the best ways to coordinate schedules is with a family whiteboard centrally located in your home. With appointments, meetings, and different happenings, it's so helpful to have one spot that everyone can check so you know what everyone else has planned. So supplies for this project include the obvious, a magnetic framed dry erase whiteboard. I am using a 17 inch by 23 inch whiteboard that I got from Amazon. The links to everything that I'm using in this tutorial are below this video as well as over on my blog at jennifermaker.com. To create the calendar on the whiteboard, you want permanent adhesive vinyl, one roll of black will do nicely, standard grip transfer tape, will also be necessary to get the vinyl onto your whiteboard. Now to make the calendar perpetual so it works well into the future, we're gonna create magnets um, from printable magnet sheets. These are really cool because you can move everything around as you need them. Now to print the magnets, you're gonna want an inkjet printer. I'm using the HP Envy 7155, but most inkjet printers will do a great job here. And of course, we need a way to cut the vinyl. I'm using the Cricut Explore cutting machine to do that. Other things you're gonna need are the green standard grip mat, a brayer to adhere your vinyl to the mat, a weeding tool to remove excess vinyl, and a scraper tool to stick your vinyl really well to your whiteboard. Now you just need the pattern for the calendar and the magnets. You'll find my free designs, and there's a couple here to choose from, over on my blog. So let me show you where to find the designs, then I'll show you how to personalize, cut, and create your very own whiteboard. Step one, get the whiteboard design. Download the whiteboard and magnet designs from my blog at jennifermaker.com 267. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 267 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine as well as a printable PDF. Step two, upload and cut the whiteboard designs. Let me show you how to cut the vinyl for this whiteboard on a Cricut cutting machine. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com SVGS. Here's what the whiteboard calendar SVG file looks like in Design Space. Before you do anything, click on the design on your screen to select it. You should see a blue box appear around it. Now zoom out to 50% to see the entire design on the screen and check the dimensions at the top. They should match mine. If you want to personalize this design, which I'm going to assume that you do, first click on Ungroup in the Layers panel on the right. Once ungrouped, you can customize the whiteboard calendar by adding your last name or whatever you like in place of the makers. If you like the font that I used and want to match it, I used a font called Hey Lover from fontbundles.net. You can purchase and download that font or use any font you like for the headline of your whiteboard. The link to the font that I used is um, listed below this video and it's over on my blog at jennifermaker.com too. Now, if you're not sure how to upload a font to Cricut Design Space, I have a helpful video on it over at jennifermaker.com slash upload fonts. To add a different name, simply select the layer on the right that says The Makers and hit the eye icon. Then add your own in its place by clicking the text button on the left and typing new text. When done, be sure to select the text and the design and click attach to keep it all together. Now, in order to print all of the days and months on the same magnetic sheet, which you want to do, I broke them up into four separate groups during the design process. These will now need to be grouped together in design space. This is really easy to do. Click on the first group that you see on the right. This will highlight everything underneath as you see here. Now click flatten. 
Now here's a tip. If flatten is grayed out at the bottom of your screen and you have more than one Cricut machine, you may not have switched machines before hitting make it. I know because this happened to me. It's an easy fix though. There's a drop down menu at the top right of the screen just to the left of the make it button. Click on that and switch to the maker or explore and you're all set. We will do this three more times to cover all the days and months. So click on the next group in the panel and you will see it all highlight everything underneath and click flatten. Then select the next group and click flatten again. And one more time, select group and click flatten. Now click make it in the upper right hand side of the screen. Go ahead and click OK at the top um, in that little box that shows up there since we're going to use a larger mat, the 12 by 24 inch mat, to cut the vinyl for this project. Now click Continue and notice all the days and months are on one mat, so they will all print out on one magnetic sheet. You are ready to go. Load one 8.5 by 11 inch printable magnetic sheet into your inkjet printer feeder tray. Make sure to follow your printer directions to print on the correct side of your magnet sheet. Now click Send to Printer. Next is the Print Setup page. First, make sure you choose your printer from the top drop-down box. Then click the toggle next to Add Bleed to turn it off, and then click Print. If you don't see this box, it might be behind your Design Space screen, so just keep that in mind. You should hear your printer fire up and print now. Here's a tip. Before you remove the printable magnetic sheet from the printer, be sure to give it some time to dry so the ink doesn't smudge. This won't take long. It's just a good idea so you don't have to do it over. Once it's dry, place the magnetic sheet on a standard grip mat as shown here on the screen. Now once the magnetic sheet prints, you will see this screen. Click on Browse All Materials. And in the search bar, type MAG and select Printable Magnetic Sheet, and then click Done. And I always choose more under pressure for my cuts. It just works better, and I get cleaner cuts that way. Now, to show you how easy this is to do, my Design Elf will cut, print, and put it all together while I talk you through it. Now, load your mat with a magnetic sheet into your machine by pressing the blinking up down arrow, and then click the C button when it starts blinking. Your Cricut will now use that black border of registration lines around your words to calibrate and cut exactly where it needs to. If you have any issues with this, like your Cricut says it cannot find the registration lines, be sure that your room is well lit. When the cut is complete, carefully remove your day and month magnets from the mat. Okay, now on to the vinyl cuts. On the left, notice that mat two is now in the queue. Click on the arrow on the upper right to reveal the materials list so you can change materials. Yes, you can change materials without having to go all the way back. So select Premium Vinyl. And again, choose More Pressure in the drop-down box. The first piece of vinyl should measure at least 7.5 inches by 18.5 inches, and this is why we need the 12 by 24 inch mat. Once you place the vinyl on the mat, use the Cricut brayer to smooth out all the bubbles. Now load the mat into your Cricut machine by pressing the blinking up-down arrow, and once loaded, hit the C button to cut. Once the cut is done, unload the mat and peel off the vinyl. Now, put your second piece of vinyl on the large standard grip mat. This piece needs to measure at least 12 inches by 16 inches. Make sure to use the brayer again to smooth out the bubbles before loading the mat. Once the cut is done, remove the mat and peel off the vinyl. The print and cut magnet pieces should pop out very easily. Now weed everything and apply transfer tape. Cut a piece of transfer tape to fit the weeded vinyl piece. 
you will see that I like to bend my transfer tape with both hands up in a taco shape and then apply it to the vinyl from the center out. That helps keep everything nice and smooth. And then use your scraper to smooth out any bubbles. Step three, put it all together. First, grab a measuring tape and mark the top center of your whiteboard. My whiteboard measures 17 inches by 23 inches. The inside measurement across the top was 21 inches, so I used the dry erase marker to mark the center at 10 and a half inches. Now carefully peel back the transfer tape from the top part of the design. Make sure it's centered and slowly apply it to the top of the whiteboard calendar. Peel off the transfer tape, being careful not to pull up any of the vinyl. Take your time here. Next, use the dry erase marker and ruler to draw a line along the left side. This will help you line up the calendar portion of the design. Align the left side of the calendar on the line. Carefully place the vinyl on the whiteboard and slowly press it in place from left to right using your hand to smooth it down along the way. Now peel back the transfer tape. Again, take your time to avoid pulling up any of the vinyl. Here's a tip. After pulling up the left side of the transfer tape, use scissors to cut it in half lengthwise and peel back the bottom half first, then the top half. It's easier to keep everything where it should be when you do it this way. Now mark the spot on the right where you'll place the notes and menu portion of the design. Press that in place and peel off the transfer tape. Now put all of your magnets in place. I started my week on Sunday, but you can choose Monday if you like. That's the best part. You can set up your whiteboard calendar however you'd like. 
and use the dry erase marker to add the dates, notes, and menu, and you are all set. Step four, show it off. This is so fun, right? This whiteboard calendar is great for keeping the family up to date and organized. You can even glue one of my paper flowers onto a magnet and use that to add a pop of color to your calendar. If you don't know how to make paper flowers, check out my blog at jennifermaker.com slash paper flowers for super simple step-by-step instructions, videos, and designs. These whiteboard calendars also make great gifts. I love how you can completely personalize your whiteboard to suit your family's needs. Feel free to add and rearrange elements on this whiteboard too. So many options. Now, if you have any questions about how to apply vinyl to a whiteboard, I want to help you out. Leave your question below this video or ask over in my group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where there's lots of people who are making awesome Cricut crafts as well. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win your own Cricut cutting machine at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you how to decorate and personalize candles. Yes, you can personalize candles. They make great gifts. This is so cool. You're going to love this project. Now, remember, I am always open to your project ideas. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <music>